Hey, what's going on my friends? How are you doing? Hope this message finds you well. Uh, right now it is uh, Sunday evening. Uh, football game is on, NFL game. Of course, I'm sporting my uh, <laughs> Los Angeles Lakers sweatshirt. And uh, shout out to the LA Lakers currently occupying the A seed in the West after uh, having many, many years of some battles uh, post Kobe era. Uh, but obviously we're doing all right with the LeBron situation so far. So good to see, good to see. Got a shout out to my Rams in the playoffs, ready to host whoever's going to win out of this game <laughs> going on on the TV outside. Um, anyway, where am I going? This is not a sports talk. Anyway, wanted to jump on really quick and talk a little bit about uh, how to believe in yourself, how to believe in your future self now. Uh, this quick video is about uh, a comment or two comments that I've actually seen in my feed on some posts that I've made in the last couple of weeks. And while I didn't talk one-on-one -on -one to, hey babe, how you doing? <laughs> My honey just logged in, she's watching, she ain't feeling too well, y'all. So if you guys get on this and you're live, send some love out to my, to, to my lovely Ashley Wood. She's not feeling too hot right now. Anyway, um, you know, so comment, a couple of comments came in where they were negative replies to the post, but it wasn't about the post, it was about the person meaning they were negatively self-talking to themselves, saying that the message that I posted wouldn't work for them or that sure it wasn't gonna work out for them. And basically it was just what I call negative self-talk. And so what I wanna share with you, uh, you know, I think a lot of people go through this when you have some sort of setback in life. Um, you know, I, I, look, I live life in my mind in two different paradigms. One is from breakdown to breakthrough. And the other is from inspiration to realization. And I think <clears throat> in life, we're going from one of those scenarios, like something in our life's going well, and maybe we want to set a new goal. So we get inspired to do something like right now, it's the first of the year. A lot of people are starting businesses. A lot of people are working out. They're getting their diets together. Some people are after a new relationship. Some people are hunting for a new job. If you're a student, you might be on your career path or your, excuse me, your, your education path. And a lot of people are going from point of inspiration to realization, but then on the other side of life, and it seems like what a lot of us focus on is those areas in our lives when we aren't having success. Those areas in life, in, in our lives, when we break down, something breaking down. Like I can go back 10 years ago, I filed bankruptcy. That was a breakdown. Uh, around that same time period, I had a business failure. That was a breakdown. So how do you go from windows in time and life? And life, by the way, we're not immune to breakdowns. We're all gonna have them uh, at various levels and various stages. The issue is, is what do we do when we're in that point of breakdown and we wanna go to a breakthrough, but we are, we're dealing with the wounds or the damage or the baggage that the breakdown may have caused. So this idea of becoming, you know, believing in our future self, I think number one, it starts with getting around people who believe in you first, right? I think there's nothing wrong with surrounding yourself with the right people who will believe in you before you believe in yourself. In fact, I think it was Sugar Ray Robinson, famous boxer, you know, year, many, many years ago said, um, you know, sometimes you have to believe in the belief that someone has in you until your belief kicks in, right? Sometimes you have to believe in the belief that someone else has in you until your belief kicks in. And I thought, I think that's one of the most powerful quotes I've ever heard. And that is, but in order to do so, you've got to surround yourself with people who are standing in your corner. If you watched a video of mine a couple of days ago or a few, few, uh, few videos back on this channel, uh, I talked about everyone's not in your boat. Everyone in your boat ain't on your team. Some people in your boat are drilling holes, trying to sink it in the back while you're up trying to navigate it to the new place you're trying to go. And so you got to be very mindful as to who's around your corner. But looking for mentors is something that I've always done. Uh, and these mentors, by the way, could be people that are in your life locally or they could be people that are, you know, you may be connected to them through a community virtually. Uh, you may be, you know, in, it could be in your church, it could be in your business, it could be anywhere, right? Um, could be books that you read. I, I've considered a lot of the authors of books, as you can see quite a few books behind me, and this is just a small dose of them. A lot of the books that I have behind me, I consider some of the authors <laughs> my mentors, right? So that goes to this, this um, second idea, which I wanted to share with you, and that is, um, in order to believe in your future self, now you've got to start changing your self-talk. Olivia, I see you. Thanks for joining the the broadcast. Um, you got to you got to be careful with the self-talk. 
I think the most damaging thing we can do to ourselves is talk negatively to ourselves. Now, there's a time when we joke with ourselves, and that's not exactly what I'm talking about, but I'm talking about that I will never be able to X. I am not able to do Y. I'm not cut out to do Z. I mean, I think in, in, in our world, the more we talk negative to ourselves, no matter what we think we want to do, we will have been, we will stop ourselves at the starting gate if we carry that self-talk negatively. So we all have it. Like there's, there's not one person who doesn't at some point say something negative to themselves. I say it to myself. I mean, so I'm not preaching to the choir. I'm preaching about topics that I know I've had to battle. I've had to deal with. I have to deal with on a regular basis. You know, having uh, things happen in business, having things happen in life. Uh, younger, many, many years ago, having a situation where uh, my sons were moved across state lines and I was going to have to raise or be a part of my son's lives from 1,175 miles away um, and, and having to think, man, what did I do so wrong that got me here? And so, but this negative self-talk won't get us to where the, the next place it is we're supposed to go. One of the funny things about life is that we just have these life's ups and downs. And it's, I think, when we're in our down periods that we have to be very, very careful about what we're saying to ourselves. Because when we were on the peak of the mountain, it's almost as if when we hit that downslide, we forget all of that positive reinforcement, all of that energy, everything that brought us to the high. When we get down into that low, man, I tell you, it is one of the most challenging places to be with what we're saying to ourselves. So, you know, in terms of other ways that you can believe in your future self today, you've got to, you've got to be putting things in your mind and into your, you know, you've got to be inundating yourself with what I call positive, motivational, inspirational type material. And that should be in the way of either audio, visual, video, or uh, a combination of the two. I, I really think that if we just took 20 or 30 minutes a day, I'm not talking about completely dumping Netflix. I know I beat up Netflix and somebody got on me the other day when I said stop watching Netflix. I'm not saying Netflix is bad. I'm not saying Netflix is bad. I'm not saying Amazon Prime is bad. I'm not saying YouTube is bad. In fact, most a lot of my motivational time is spent on YouTube first thing in the morning. I have channels that I know post motivation and inspiration type stuff while I'm making coffee or while I'm getting together, uh, after I've done my meditation, my prayer, and uh, maybe listen to some music, I spend some time listening to an audio and I do it sort of subconsciously, right? So what I'd like to encourage you to think about is if you are struggling with where you are now, where you wanna go, and you are not finding dedicated time to listen and inundate yourself in your mind and start fabricating your mind with things that'll help that self-talk, because ultimately what's happened is you've got an, a subconscious pattern that is built into your DNA, into your brain system, and you can eventually change that subconscious programming. A lot of us don't even realize that it's been programmed since we were three, four, five, eight, 10, 12, 15. Now, some of those patterns may not have been put there on purpose by you, but you have to understand and recognize that they're there because if they're recurring things that keep coming up, those are subconscious patterns and you have to work hard at breaking those. That means you're not consciously talking negative to yourself, you're not constantly beating yourself up. There's something subconsciously that's there. So Olivia says, little by little is making a difference for me just a little every day. I love that, Olivia, because again, that's funny that uh, most people want some 180 degree change, but what you're saying is little bit by little bit is all it takes. The issue is being consistent over time. And so that's a great, great comment, Olivia. Thanks for making that. Um, and the funny part about that is most people don't want to go through that process. Most people want some overnight pill. They want an overnight, wet, you know, wizard <laughs> magic wand uh, you know i see it in business when i talk to companies that are looking to, to grow their business and you know i consult with companies we help them with marketing sales and, and they just want something to change for them overnight and i get it you know i get it i've been on every uh, look i'm not i'm human just like everybody else i'd love for stuff to change overnight too um one of one of the things about me is the back my background in sports now i didn't play for the lakers just for anybody that might be curious I, i'm just a laker fan i'm a laker dodger Rams fan, grew up here in Las Vegas and did not have a sports team uh, growing up. So that, that's who I've attached myself to. But what I think about in sports that I think about is, is so prevalent in our lives is this idea that it's about constant and never ending improvement. It's not about overnight success. For instance, the Lakers fantastic franchise won many, many championships, but when they weren't winning, they weren't winning. They couldn't just get back to, the, to, the, to their glory days overnight. 
Same thing with the Dodgers. Same thing with the Rams. The Rams, I think, shoot, we're, we're having a great year this year after a great year last year. But, man, we might have went 12, 13 years. I don't know if we won four or five games, you know, on average. I mean, so we went from winning a Super Bowl or two back in the early part of 2000, and then we went on a 12, 13-year run. We couldn't get our stuff together. So that's the way life is. Like, we have to be patient with the process. But in order to be patient with the process, we also have to be doing the right things that, A, we have to set that vision. B, we have to get our self-talk together. And C, we got to start inundating our mind with things that are going to help move us closer to that future self. And I think the number one thing, and as I bring this sort of to a close, is getting around people who believe in you even when you may not believe in yourself. And I think that's probably one of the biggest keys out there. Everyone who you might be looking at today that you may admire or that you may be looking up to or you spend time watching or you say that they inspire you, I guarantee you've had an opportunity to speak to them. And, and for you, those of you that are watching me right now, I can't tell you how many people have spoke into my life and I'm talking outside of my house. I'm talking outside of parents. I'm talking outside of close, close friends. I'm talking about people that have spoken my life who didn't even really know me. I can think of a gentleman by the name right now. I'm actually supposed to connect with him here in a couple of weeks. Uh, we connected over LinkedIn over the holiday break. Uh, a brother by the name of Michael Hatch. And he was a local appraiser in here in the city when I was in the mortgage industry for many years. I remember within two weeks of meeting this gentleman, he spoke something into me that I know for sure has changed my life. He may not know that. I'll share it with him. And I've seen him off and on. But he's just one person who spoke into my life. And I don't see him on a regular basis. We did business back in, in, in the, the years I was in the mortgage and real estate industry. But he probably doesn't know that. I mean, I could go on and on and on. I can think of a gentleman in 2002, 2001, who spoke into my life over a lunch meeting. And him and I still stay in communication once in a while. He's moved on, moved his family to Alabama. Uh, we were in the same industry at that time. But it's, it's finding people who can speak something into you, speak a, moment, a word of belief, speak of, of, of a vision of truth into you when maybe you're battling your own self-talk. And the funny thing is, I just want to say this right now, stop all that negative self-talk, right? Catch yourself in the moment. Here's an exercise that I would like to give you, and I'll bring this to a close, and I'll see you tomorrow. Make your, get, set yourself a goal to catch yourself in the moment of negativity. That's something that I practice on a regular basis. I even have my team at work. Uh, there's, there's this self-talk that I've been, you know, I'm guilty just like everybody else. Like I said, I'm not preaching to you. I'm, you know, some of these messages are, are designed for me so I can get on my own hurdles. I have had four or five book coaches say that I should be writing books. I should, I got books that like they've listened to me, they've talked to me, they've seen me in seminars, whatever the case is. And they say, boy, you know, you, you, I'm surprised you haven't authored several books. Can we help you author some books? And my negative self-talk has been, I'm not a writer. You know, I, I can speak, no problem. Like, you can, I can turn the camera on and we can get down. I can talk at a seminar. I can put on, you know, I can do the audio and I can do the video. And I have struggled with the writing. Like, and I write. That's the problem. I work in marketing. I write a lot. I don't know how many words I've written in the last 20-something years working in marketing. But the idea of sitting down and staring at a blank piece of paper, uh, part of my self-talk that I've got to get over is that I'm not a writer. The reality is I am a writer. <laughs> I just got to figure out the problem when I sit down and look at that blank sheet of paper and nothing comes out. Uh, but anyway, I love conversing with you guys. I love conversing with this process. I'm really loving the ability that these technologies have made to where we can just jump on here, go live, share a thought. This was on my heart today. I've shared a post. And uh, and again, I was thinking about this gentleman, and I don't know, I'm, I'm not going to think his name. I wouldn't call his name out here right now anyway, um, but it hurts my heart when I see someone who doesn't believe that they their life can change, doesn't believe that they could have something better than where they are right now because of something that's happened to them in the past. And so the gentleman who, if you happen to be watching this, uh, uh, the gentleman who made that comment to me, uh, you know, my heart goes out to you and I, I just want to let you know, I believe in you if you don't believe in yourself. So uh, I just want you to know whatever it is that's holding you back, whatever it is that has you believing that, that, that your situation can't change, I want you to, to know that I believe in you if no one else believes in you. And though I don't know you, just know that someone on the outside is believing in you because that's just what I believe has happened to me. I'm here today through adversity, through trial, through tribulation, through all of those things, through all sorts of setbacks because people have been around me in my corner saying, you know what, you're gonna be all right. You know what, you can do it. You know what, 
go ahead and make that change. You know what? I think that's the right thing to do. And so as I wrap up again today, Sunday evening, hopefully you're gearing up for a great week ahead. Um, just work on those little small things that of where you want to go. It doesn't have to be perfect. The last thing that, and I think I'll come back and do a whole nother video on this idea of perfection, because I think a lot of people are waiting until everything is perfect, right? Everything has to be perfect. Like I've got a brand new business I'm starting this year. It's, it's in the e-commerce uh, world. You guys will see, you guys will hear about it on this channel. And the reality is, uh, you know, I'd love to have a whole team that I could just uh, deploy on that company. But guess what? There ain't no whole team. It's Daryl. Daryl's going to be doing it on a side project. I don't have a whole team to build that business right now, but I'll, we're going to start a little bit by a little bit and grow it a little bit by a little bit. And that's the way it, go, it, it goes. So everything doesn't have to be perfect to get started. But anyway, let me wrap it up. Amanda is here. N uh, Natalie is here. Hey guys, how y'all, how you guys doing? Listen, if you, if you missed this, obviously watch the replay, but thanks for checking it out. Thanks for giving me your time and attention. Um, it's been a pleasure. It's Sunday night. I'm going to jump off and I was rendering a video, by the way. So I, I just wanted to, I didn't want to sit and stare at the computer the whole time while I was rendering a video that I'm releasing tomorrow on LinkedIn. So anyway, for those of you in business, jump, jump on my LinkedIn channel at linkedin.com forward slash, uh, LinkedIn is kind of weird. LinkedIn.com forward slash I N forward slash Mr. Daryl Evans. But anyway, if you're not in business, don't worry about it. Anyway, and there'll be more business stuff coming to this channel in, in the future. But anyway, Amanda, I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie, hope you're having a great evening. And uh, Olivia, thanks for tuning in as well. So listen, I will be back here and my goal is to be here every day. I missed yesterday. I apologize. I missed yesterday. But that's again, it, it, done is better than perfect. Uh, things come up in life. I was working really uh, hard yesterday and I really hope to, uh, to be able to jump on and I didn't get it done. So I'm not going to hold myself hostage. I'm going to get back on path. And like I did, I just wanted to jump on here today. So anyway, that's about it for today. If you like this video or you like this kind of content, and I'm going to do my best to continue to bring you some good ideas and thoughts, uh, hit the like button, hit the comment button, share with your friends, invite people, turn on the notifications if you want to be notified when I go live. I'm actually looking for a schedule. I haven't figured it out yet, but I think through the month of January, I'll figure out a schedule so maybe I can pick a set, certain time uh, that might work with your schedule and my schedule, and we'll jam up here together. So anyway, I'm going to sign off for tonight, and I hope you have a great evening. Hope you're geared up for a great week, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.